Hi everyone, welcome to another video. So today I'm um, going to be doing um, an explainer video. So um, this is based on a question that I saw on the Urban Sketcher Global Facebook group when someone asked this question. What are the different styles of urban sketching? So another variation of this question could be uh, what is my style? I am attempting to answer this question um, based on my experience as an uh, urban sketcher for about four years. I started end of 2013, so wow, okay, about six years. <laughs> so and also based on what I uh, normally see, because I belong to Singapore Urban Sketchers, uh, so we I tend to see more uh, works from the people in uh, Singapore, the Urban Sketcher Singapore. So first and foremost, what is style? So according to Oxford Dictionary, so as I say, this is really based on my observation and my analysis. So let's go to the drawing board. So to discuss uh, the different urban sketching style, we have to define what is style. So style is the manner uh, you, the sketcher, express what you see on your paper, sketchbook, canvas or tablet. Hmm, so what do we mean by this? Firstly, it is what you sketch with. And secondly, it's how do you sketch it? What do you sketch with? I will be talking about medium in this slide. So medium are materials that you use to create your sketch. So here are some examples of the medium media that you can use uh, in urban sketching. One of the most popular medium in sketching is ink. And when you use ink in pen, you make lines. So if you want to add color with a brush, you can use watercolor. And when you combine the two, watercolor and um, ink, pen or lines together, you get line and wash or ink and wash. This is for people who want both the lines and also the colours. So I would say very safely that perhaps about 80% of all urban sketching um, are in this form. Either the watercolour, the ink pen line or ink and wash uh, style. Because um, generally uh, the materials, uh, the medium, are easily available and they are portable and very convenient to bring uh, and, and they uh, dry very quickly the medium so the rest uh, of the other mediums that we see in urban sketching for example we have um, color pencil here oil gouache and recently, a lot of people have started using digital sketches. Um, in my opinion, it is as convenient as watercolour and ink. And finally, uh, we have mixed medium. So anything goes here, crayons, blah blah blah. Of course, um, there are mediums like acrylic, um, charcoal and Chinese ink, which I have not um, showed here and the next big question is how did you sketch it in other words what is your approach to presenting what you see onto your art substrate so what is your focus and what do you care about when you sketch um, do you care about capturing all the details that you see uh, in the scene or do you care about being accurate and neat about your lines and colors. How much details you include in your sketch? So, for example, some people would like to draw everything. Some people just like to do um, a basic um, outline, and they like the colors or let the shadow does its work. How neat your drawing is, uh, or your painting is. So, there are some people who will make sure that um, the colors fall within a certain areas and the lines are. 
measured, everything looks perfect. And there are some people who are just more free flow, they are more like relaxed with, with the lines that they use. They don't really care if it squiggles, don't really care if there's an extra dot at the end. Let's represent both of them graphically, uh, drawing details along the y-axis uh, with more details at the top and less detail at the bottom. Next, uh, we put neatness along the x-axis with um, it being more neat on the right-hand side and less neat on the left-hand side. Uh, I can safely describe most of the sketches will all fall inside here and you can see how the different styles play uh, come into play. Um, I'll be explaining this using some of my sketches and also sketches belonging to several USK Singapore sketches. So imagine we are at a sketch walk at Ansiang Hill or Club Street. We have people like Patrick who is um, fairly neat and fairly detailed. So you can actually look at his sketch and immediately recognize that this is uh, the the uh, Club Street and Ansiang Hill. So another artist who is fairly realistic um, but doesn't use lines uh, would be Madhu. Madhu is a watercolorist. Uh, he uses watercolor uh, over pencil ink. In his work, uh, you can see a good mix of uh, details and neatness. Another urban sketcher um, that I want to bring in here uh, at this juncture to describe neatness is uh, Benedict. So Benedict is a watercolorist, like Madhu, he um, paints over lines, pencil lines. Um, but if you, if you look at the two different sketches, right, you realize that um, Ben's uh, painting um, is with, well within um, the areas that he, he, he wants to paint. And he's very careful about ensuring that they are all there and, and the colors are, uh, are well controlled. However, um, he is not able to include too much details in his sketches. So here is another uh, watercolorist, uh, he is Flavian. Uh, Flavian uh, differs from Benedict in that um, he is lower on the neatness level and also lower on the detail level. Uh, he's, interested more, he's more interested in the shapes, in the shadows and also in the dark and uh, brighter area. Uh, he's not really, he doesn't really care about you know, how much details um, he puts into his sketch. Uh, you know, he doesn't care about putting all the leaves, the trees and everything like that into his sketch. Um, similarly, if you, are, if you are looking at people using lines um, like ink and wash, uh, we have uh, Paka. Paka, uh, on the other hand, uses uh, more, he uses ink it was just pen to depict the shapes um, or of the buildings, like for example here of the street, uh, of the trees, the outlines of the trees, and also the tower. So this is really just to like a very essential way to show um, the, the 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 bare minimum uh, that will allow him to portray uh, the scene uh, without having the excessive details. If we want to move up uh, the detail. Uh, level to here we have um, artists like Madame Tia so Madame Tia from that from this sketch over here you can see that she um, is really detailed can you see all the tiles and all these window panes and the details of the plants uh, the shrubs um, she, but however she, I don't think she really cares about how neat her paint is how neat things are um, because it's really just an expression of, of what you see uh, of that scene this is me. I am fairly detailed. I started off uh, as a, um, you know, wanting to capture all the lines, all the details, and I try to be as neat as I can. So I spend really long time on one sketch. For example, this one probably take me a few sitting. I think it took me like close to three sittings of two hour, three hour each. And I probably won't be able to get this done um, at the end of one, um, you know, sketch walk. Um, so then I decided that, oh, okay, let's move down you know, the neatness level. And this is what I ended up with. Um, and, and you can, as you can see, I am, I tend, I will became uh, less neat uh, with where my colors are. I don't, I'm not really realistic. So if you notice from all of our sketches, um, all of us um, went to the same, oh, I would say all of us, but some, most of these um, uh, drawings, most of these urban sketches, like this one, this one, this one, um, 
we went to the same place, uh, which is um, the uh, Club Street and Xiang Hill area. But we ended up with different sketches. We may be sitting at different angles or different areas, but um, through our experience, through how much uh, we know of the area, um, our art training, um, and life experiences, we all paint in different ways. And I can I think it can be explained through um, our details, how much details we have, and and, and also um, the neatness uh, of how we put down our our lines or our colors. We will practice this um, concept in the next slide. So let's take the example of uh, Kyong Siak Road. Um, the old Tong uh, eating house, which is this uh, building over here. Here are all the sketches uh, that I have asked from our fellow urban sketches. So perhaps you can take a few moments to, to look at all these sketches and organize them in this uh, graph. So is this what you have done or have expected actually there's no right or wrong answer but it's just for you to practice uh, classifying the different uh, you know the sketches according to neatness and details so thanks for watching the whole explainer video um, another caveat um, these are just uh, illustrative examples um, of what these uh, urban sketches or these artists uh, can do. So it doesn't mean that they can only sketch in that particular style. So some of them can actually do many different uh, styles. So uh, if you want to know more about them, um, I have given, I have actually provided links to their Instagram or their Facebook or their web page. So you can go and um, take a look at how they um, develop as an artist or what they do as an artist. Um, so the second caveat is that I'm, this is not an exhaustive um, uh, illustration because there's so many other artists out there and I can't possibly you know um, introduce all of them so if you know if you notice I actually missed out a lot of global um, urban sketches so please comment be below uh, this video uh, what you think is a style and what is your style so I hope that you have found the video to be useful uh, if you like it um, please give it a thumbs up uh, if you like to know more about art, about urban sketching, about travel, travel sketching and uh, art material reviews and things like that, uh, you can subscribe to my channel uh, and also maybe leave a comment uh, to let me know how I'm doing. So in the subsequent videos, I will be introducing how you can uh, find your style and how my style has changed uh, in this five to six years. Alright, so I... See you in the next video. Bye-bye.